welcome back. Today I thought we would make another uh, collage art paper doll for our art journals and I just thought I would make another one and you can watch what I do and then maybe it will uh, give you some ideas for things to look for when you're creating one of these collage paper dolls for your art journal. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this uh, body here, part of the body, for uh, the upper body of my doll. It came from the Creative Haven Ornamental Fashions coloring book. And I'm going to, yes, I'm going to disassemble this and use it in a completely different way than just an adult coloring page. So what I would like to do is I'm going to keep this bent arm with a bird. I'm going to lose the bow because I don't like that. But I like the bird, and so I think I'm going to keep that arm and keep it um, non-movable. And then I'm going to make this one movable like I've done in my past videos and I'm going to use her upper body and just a little part of this here and then I did show in one of the videos um, my seed catalog that I love to use for different fun collage images and I talked about this lettuce it just intrigues me and I find it to be very beautiful and flipped upside down I think it'll make a beautiful skirt bottom to this doll so I'm going to use it that way I'm going to put a different head on. I'm going to remove this head and put a different head on. And some of you say, well, why not just back this on cardboard and use this whole thing in your book? You can. If that's what you want to do, do it. It would be a pretty in your art journal. And you still could add lace to it or different legs or keep it exactly the way that it is and just cut out. I've talked about that before, that you can use a coloring book image in your art journal if you don't like to draw and you don't like to draw bodies and faces and arms and things. Use a coloring book image. But in making my um, collage art paper dolls, I like them to be from all different places and all different things. I like to put a variety of things together to make it completely different that no one else would do or think of. So it's going to be original, even though it's just in my art journal. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to um, cut this out in a manner that I'm going to glue it down onto the cardboard. So the pieces that I'm going to use in this are going to be the uh, bird and as I've talked about I like to not fussy cut it until it's down on the cardboard because then you're only fussy cutting it once plus you're getting a nice crisp edge if you cut this image out then glue it to cardboard then cut it out a second time you're really ruining your beautiful edges that you've cut so I'm just going to trim this out and I'm leaving her neck but not keeping the head. I'm going to keep that for something else that may be pretty on a different paper doll. She'd be beautiful on a different paper paper doll. So I'm going to put her in my little folder for her heads. Sounds kind of crazy. And on this body I'm just going to keep this much of it. And I'm trimming out this arm because I'm going to keep this arm. I'm going to trim it in a circle because it's going to be on top. And I'll keep those birds for something else. So I'm going to put them aside. And so here is her arm. Then this one is going to be the one that I make movable and so these are the two elements of that that I'm going to put down on my cardboard and then I'm also going to put down on cardboard this beautiful head of fancy schmancy lettuce okay so those are going to go down from that same seed catalog, I found an okra, which I'm going to use as an accessory, and these beautiful um, basil-type leaves. These, which I had wondered what they were, they're actually a Jing orange okra. So I'm going to use those as her legs. I love those for legs. I had mentioned that before when I first saw it. That's what I envisioned, so that's what I'm going to use. And this beautiful sprout of beans 
for a headpiece and obviously she's going to be a uh, V8 girl, Viola 8 for V8 because she's going to be all made of veggies or um, she could be simply go green could be the be the theme here because I'm making her all out of veggies. So that's what I'm going to do and I'm going to go ahead and adhere them down to a piece of thin cardboard with matte gel medium and then start cutting out my pieces. If this is the first video of mine where you have uh, seen making these collage art paper dolls then you might want to check out the playlist and I'll have a link below and in the description box for the playlist and it has all the videos in this series that will give you all different kinds of ideas for making these types of collage art paper dolls. There's also a Facebook group if you want to join the Facebook group and show what you create. We've got a wonderful group of ladies and in there that are um, having fun and creating, posting art journal pages of all different kinds and uh, showing what they're making with their paper dolls. So feel free to join the Facebook group and show us what you make. We inspire each other for ideas when you see what somebody else used on a page. I'm using a recycled Kleenex box as my cardboard and just be sure not to put your image down across anything bumpy like this or any seams because those seams will show. So just use the flat cardboard. So what I like to do is to put the matte gel medium on the back side of the image and then on the cardboard also and then you get a nice smooth a nice smooth connection where it doesn't wrinkle quite as much if it's, especially if it's from a magazine. So I'm going to put that down like this. You can go over the top, seal it down really good, and then do another one. So match on medium on the back. Match on medium on the cardboard. And magazine image in place. And then I let those air dry completely. If you try to use a heat tool to dry them too quickly, they will get some bubbles and wrinkles in them. So it's my suggestion to let them just air dry. And they're really nice and flat when you do that, that way of putting it on the back and on the cardboard. So I'm going to go ahead and glue all these down. Here are my images all uh, matte gel medium down to cardboard. And uh, on this I used a piece of poster board that I had. And then I'm going to take this, um, this is a sticker out of the back of a Jane Davenport book, and I'm going to stick it down to cardboard and use this face. And this would be a perfect spot right here in the end of my... So I'm going to cut that out, and I'm going to use that face. So when I cut this out, I'm going to trim around her And I'm leaving her pretty hair on. And I know I'm going to have that uh, crown of veggies behind her, so I'm just going to go ahead and add just a little bit of a shape here. I can always trim it off. like that and then that gives me room to glue things onto the front if I want besides putting the crown to the back. And for trimming out this body I did save the neck on this and I think I'm going to cut it right at that neckline and use this neck because I really like her her neck and put it behind. If I didn't have a neck and I had a round face I could add it right to the top of that and use this neck but I'm not going to use that neck. So hopefully that makes sense. You kind of just have to plan it out and look at what you're doing and how you're going to create it. But I think this neck, like this, will look really nice. And for this shoulder, where we cut it off, because I'm going to use the this arm and I want this to attach on the top of it, I'm going to come over here with my um, Tombow Mono drawing pen and I'm going to create 
a rounded shoulder and that's going to be hidden when I put that other piece over the top but it'll be a place to connect it and a place to attach that brad so I'm going to cut it out like that. Now I'll go ahead and trim out all my pieces and then I'll start laying it out and showing you how I create the collaged doll. Here are my pieces all cut out and ready to be assembled so I'm going to put my girl's head behind the body like this and glue that into place with some art glitter glue. I find art glitter glue to be the best glue for holding these pieces together and I like to use a clip as I've shown before and so I will just put those two pieces into place where I want it and then clip it and let it set. So here's what her skirt is going to, bottom of her dress is going to be. It's going to be this head of lettuce. How cute is that? And these two pieces of okra from my catalog are what are going to be her legs. And they're going to be movable. And then I cut this piece of basil out to add maybe to her skirt possibly. I want to add a beaded fringe to the bottom of this lettuce skirt. So I'm taking some seed beads, a bead needle, and some uh, bead thread that's really fine but strong. And I'm just going to thread my needle. I'm going to take a paper piercer and a mat, and wherever I want the beads to be, I'm going to put a little hole with my paper piercer, pierce through that cardboard just to make the beading process a little bit easier. So like that, I'm poking holes along the edge wherever I'm going to put the bead strands. Okay, so I'm going to start by going into that first hole and I'm going to pull my thread through with the knot behind. And you have to be careful, this is just cardboard so you don't want to tear it. And I'm going to take that knot and I'm going to tape it down with a piece of tape and a dot of glue. And that's just to make it really sturdy right where it's starting and so that it'll hold those beads in place. Just trimming away the excess tape so now that is taped and glued into place so this is what it's going to look like and when I get to the length that I want what I want to do is just skip that bottom one and go back up through the other beads so you're just feeding your needle back up the chain again, back up the string. When you skip that bottom one and you go back up the string, you end up with this. So that bottom one becomes like a dangle at the bottom and now you can, you've can you got a dangle of beads. So you just have to carefully slowly pull it tight until you get it to the top, like that. And I'm going to go down through the front to the back in that hole. And I'm leaving a little bit of a space, if you can see. Let that focus in. Come on. I'm leaving a little bit of a gap right there so that it hangs off of the edge of the cardboard nicely. And now I'm going to go back up and over to the next hole behind and now you don't see that thread and I'm going to create another one and I'm going to do that all the way across until I have a row of dangly beads hanging off of this piece. So to show you that one more time here's my string of beads 
on the thread and I'm going to skip this bottom bead and then go back up the row again putting my needle through each of the beads. And it seems a little bit tedious, but oh my gosh, it's going to be so pretty when it's done. Here's how it turned out, and I absolutely love it. That's what I had in mind. So look at my little seed bead dangles on my cardboard, and I have it glued and taped where the pieces of thread end and the stitches in the back. So you can't see them, but look at how fancy and cute that is. That's going to be just darling. So that's what I had in mind, and... I love adding those kind of fun little touches. And I'm taking my archival ink in sepia and a, a little distress tool here and I'm going around my edges like I always do. Um, I showed this in my previous paper doll video. And that's just to get rid of those white edges. So I'm taking care of all the white edges on the pieces I've cut out. Now for this skirt what I want to do is cut a slit where I'm going to slip this body into the slit. So in the top of this, starting about three quarters of an inch in, I'm just going to follow this pattern along here with my X-Acto knife. And cut into this piece like that. And then I'm going to slip her body in like this. So that's why I cut that bottom shape to look like just kind of a tab. And I left her hips on and then I'm going to put it like this and then it's got the skirt behind and the skirt in front. I love how that looks. And then I'm going to um, go ahead and take this, slip this out again, put some glue on it, and glue that into place. Now I'm going to color the coloring book images, and I'm going to use my Arteza brush pens. There's some great colors that are flesh tone that I can use for the arms, and uh, some beautiful greens. So I'm going to use those, and then I'm also going to do some shading with some Caran d'Ache Neo Color too. So here's how it's turning out so far. I've colored this part, and I still need to color the bird. And I colored her arm, and it's ready to be attached. And what I decided to do, if I put this basil on top, it's going to impede this arm from moving. So I think I'm going to put it behind. And I really like it adding it to the skirt. It just adds some more interest. So I think what I'm going to do is cut it right down the middle so I can add part of it over here and part of it over here for balance. And it just adds some more green greenery to her skirt. And then I think I'm going to embellish it with that little piece of okra to match which in her hair. I've used two little mini brads to attach the legs to the piece of cardboard and a mini brad to attach her arm. And now I'm going to flip her over and I'm going to glue this cardboard to the back just on the end pieces. So just along that edge I'm going to glue that in place. And I'm going to clip it and let it dry. So here's V8, my garden girl with her movable arm and watering can and a little bird on her finger. And she has beans and okra in her hair and then lettuce and basil and okra and okra for legs and on the tips of her on the tips of the ends of the okra I took a black pen and made it look like she has little black shoes 
And then she's got the bead dangles. I love that. The bead fringe. Looks cute. So she's ready now for me to add her to an art journal page. So I will go ahead and do an art journal page and show you how I use her on my page. So here's my art journal page that I put my girl on and it is the theme of Go Green, Eat Clean. So she's surrounded by vegetables. I used vegetables out of that catalog to do a border. And then I used cardstock in different colors of brown and I tore it to make the ground with the vegetables growing out of the carrots and the artichokes. And I used some chalk, some um, pan pastels actually, to uh, create this look of dirt. So I used some pastel on the cardstock. And here is her movable arm and she's got a watering can and I used if you can see the drops that is Nuvo drops and it looks like water coming out of the watering can when she holds her can up and the color of that was Nuvo drops in blue babe and then I um when the page is open she can have her arm all the way out like that, like she's watering, and when it's closed, you put it down before you close it so that you don't squish her arm. But her legs also move, so her little legs do, 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 move along, and you can make her standing in different positions with her legs or her legs crossed. And then she's got her dangly fringe of beads. So she just turned out really cute. I love it with the bird and the veggies in her hair. So that's what I did with her on an art journal page. I just painted the little carrot tops with a paint pen and did the lettering. And that's what I did. So it's really fun to make these dolls and I know that the style of this one is similar to the first one I showed except for the detailing of putting on the beads. And next time I'll do another one with a different way of attaching the arms and legs. When I glued my doll down to the page, I only glued her head, this arm and shoulder that is not movable, and her two hips, just like before. So the body in the middle is glued down where there's no movable parts. These two parts. The part where the legs are attached is not glued down. It's just free floating but doesn't need to be glued down. And then obviously this arm is not glued down. So you just kind of have to be careful when you glue your doll into your book that you don't glue down anything that would make the arm or the limbs not be able to move and that whatever you have movable doesn't be, isn't impeded by something else on your doll. I love the movable parts and so it's interactive play in your art journal. So it's really fun. I used a paper doll or a doll out of a coloring book and a Jane Davenport sticker face, vegetables from a vegetable uh, seed catalog, some beads. It just makes a really fun art journal page. So I hope you enjoyed that. Go make a doll for your a paper doll for your art journal, an interactive paper collage art doll, and join the Facebook group. Show us what you make and check back because I'm going to have more paper dolls. Thanks for stopping by.